it going guys? My name is TJP and welcome back to another NBA 2K23 My NBA video. This is our first career simulation and I decided let's do it with Paulo Bancaro uh, because he was the number one overall pick. So why not try to see what his career will look like throughout, uh, well, at least that'd be 2K23. So we're going to simulate pretty much his entire career up until he retires. However, we're not going to control anything. Uh, the only thing that I have on are uh, like chemistry stuff like the morale and chemistry's on injuries will be off for this career sim we'll just assume that everybody's healthy in this fantasy world because we want to see like how well he you know does in the game right uh we are going to start from uh today as of this recording as well so he's already played the games because i think that just makes the most sense since that feature is in 2k you might as well you know make use of it right so um yeah wherever he decides to go trades everything else will be handled by the cpu we're just gonna watch and see what ends up happening so uh, we're gonna have the game before we do hit the like button subscribe and join the content let me know down in the comments below my video go to social down in the description Playlist down for other nba 2k23 my nba videos and uh also check out my channel for content we cheat tjp and our social down in the description as well with our second channel and yeah if you have any other players let me know down in the comments below i have a lot of guys in mind i'll probably do these guys with the top few picks and you know of course <coughs> victor and scoot right because you know People love them. All right, let's uh, get on to the gameplay. So let's take a look at how Paulo Becker is doing so far on the season as of the recording here that we've got. So he is currently sitting, he's played 16 games. He's at 22.6 points, 6.7 rebounds, 3.6 assists. Uh, again, these are like injuries based on, uh, well, you know, the, the, the injuries are off. So whatever, however many games he played, sit out. You know, now he is fully here, fully ready for the rest of the season at the sim. And, you know, currently right now the Magic are 5-18, and 18, so they have a chance to add some really good pieces to this team. Let's find out. We're going to simulate basically his entire rest of the rookie season. I assume he'll win Rookie of the Year. Uh, we'll keep a track of, like, his awards, and I'll show you guys that periodically. We'll probably simulate a couple se uh, seasons as well. If I have any major updates, like if he wins MVP, Defensive of the Year, Sixth Man of the Year maybe, Most Proof Player, if he gets any of those. Like, all NBA teams, wins a championship. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, so let's see... Uh, what ends up happening with Paulo Bancaro? I'm just going to start simulating once I have the for you. I will come back with you, show you guys his stats for the rookie season, because I assume he'll be uh, rookie of the year, or at the very least, all rookie first team. All right, so first season is under the, well, at the end of the books, so underway. Got through it, and of course, we got a rookie of the year, Paulo Bancaro. 21.6 points, 8.7 rounds, 3.5 assists on the season. Uh, not too bad of efficiency. I mean, 51 from the field, 32 from 3, 7. 71.9 from the line, about 33.7 minutes, almost 34 minutes, and uh, good stuff there from Paulo Bancaro. Love to see that. So he's obviously won the rookie there. Good start there to his, uh, um, I guess, what do you want to call it? His career. Uh, he's obviously going to be all rookie first team because of that. I don't think he's going to get any other awards. And of course, the Magic did not make the playoffs in here. He is on all rookie first team. So, uh, also, wow, this is, an, this is an interesting all rookie first team, I gotta say. Um, also, look at that. Chet's here. <coughs> Which is pretty funny, because Chet is not really gonna play. Uh, maybe for Chet's simulation, we could be realistic and say, ah, he sits out the, the season. Because he probably will. But, I don't know. If I... Well, it doesn't really matter, right? Too much. I mean, so you guys saw, like, who... You know, his, his career and stuff like that. Or, you know, the team obviously make the playoffs. So, we'll just simulate the playoffs, see what happens. Luka and the Celtics and wow Luka Doncic winning MVP and championship seven games I don't think that's gonna happen in real life but okay all right let's uh I guess go on to the offseason I mean we're not really gonna show you guys that uh but we'll see what ends up happening with this team the magic obviously I assume he'll stay but I just want to double check his uh stats one more time you see you uh are curious yeah but there they are yeah, i already showed you pretty much everything so i need to show you again all right let's see what this team looks like in this in the second season start of the second season <coughs> all right one thing i want to mention <coughs> the we got the number one overall pick so well the magic got the number one overall pick. i guess they signed central dinwiddie um obviously we took victor they took victor Weminyama. uh mike conley's on the team now didn't even know if they traded him for or not but okay also got this guy Jeb Howard. Not that that's important, but yeah, we're we're all we're only concerned about Paul Bencaro. So that's interesting. This is gonna be interesting now because the Magic won the, somehow won the number one overall pick. So let's see if there's a, any kind of log jams. But uh, let's just take a look at the rotation for the start of the second season. I'm just gonna simulate and see what happens. So coach wants to run this as the rotation. So Bencaro's gonna be getting 32 minutes in his second season. Uh, it should be exciting stuff. 
Um, honestly, the Magic could make the playoffs next. If this is their roster, this is this year in the video. They could actually make the playoffs. This is a good team. Uh, so let's find out and see what happens. Maybe we would see Van Caro make an all-star appearance. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know if that's going to happen, but let's simulate and find out. <coughs> okay, Don should put up a 40-point triple-double. Um, Victor won Rookie of the Year for the Magic. That's cool to see. Uh, doesn't look like anything else happened here, but the Magic did end up making the playoffs, so that's cool to see. Let's see if Van Caro got any of these teams. And he actually made all NBA third teams with Victor Wembanyama, interestingly enough. So Van Caro in his second season, 22.7 points, 9.2 rounds, 4 assists. <coughs> you can see uh, pretty, same efficiency, similar efficiency. 3-point shooting went up slightly. So yeah, good stuff from Van Caro. Nice second year, sophomore year for him. So good stuff there. I like to add all NBA third team added to his resume. He did not make the all-star team, I don't believe, uh, if I look at his awards. Yeah, his first team rookie of the year, third team All-NBA, but did not make the all-star team. It's going to be kind of tough because he's playing in Orlando, so <coughs> I don't know how good the uh, scoop made it on all-rookie first team. Uh, but yeah, it, it's going to be kind of tough when it comes to getting voted in because he plays in a small market. That could be play a factor. But yeah, fifth seed uh, in the playoffs, so that's cool to see. We'll just see what the playoffs, see what happens. Uh, and uh, wow, it almost came back down for 3-0 lead, uh, but uh, it, we ended up losing the Raptors. It's the Grizzlies, Cavs, and... What do you know? The Cavs win the finals, so Darius Garland's finals MVP. How did uh, Bancaro do in his first playoff run? Let's take a look at his uh, stats. Looked like he was one of the leaders of the team. 20 points, 10 rebounds, so pretty much a double-double. And uh, was 50%. Didn't shoot great from three, though. Uh, okay, very interesting stuff there. Victor doing his thing out there. All right, let's go on to... I guess the next season, if I have any updates for you, I'll let you know. All right, John Moran was the MVP. Uh, don't see any <coughs> Pelo Bancaro here. Did he get any All-NBA teams, perhaps? Victor Wembanyama did, All-NBA second team. Uh, Bancaro did get All-NBA third team once again, so that's good to see. Numbers went a little bit down. Uh, slightly down, not too much, but yeah, 20, about 22, 8, and 4. But the efficiency is going up. You can see 53.7, 40.9 from 3. And 77.6 from the line. And you even played less minutes. So you like to see that. He is in year number three and making all NBA team for the second time. Did he was he an all-star this season? Let's take a look and take and see. He was not an all-star. Was Victor Wembanyama an all-star? Yes. Okay. But uh, Paul Bancaro has a great teammate. And he's up to an 89 overall. So that's cool to see. Uh, Should have checked if he won a defensive team. But it didn't look like he actually did it. Would have said it there. Uh, but uh, we did make the, oh my gosh, we did make the playoffs again as a fifth seed. So Bancaro is in his second year in the playoffs. And this time they get out of the first round but lose to the mighty Cavaliers, who are probably going to beat the Rockets and win the finals. I lied. The Rockets won the finals with Jabari Smith Jr. winning finals MVP. That is an interesting storyline there. <coughs> Although I assume... The Cavs also have Kyrie Irving. Um, and they don't, actually. I lied. Um, hmm. They have Christian Wood back, though. That's kind of interesting. Interesting, indeed. So in the playoffs, he put up 19.5 points, 8.9 rounds, 5.5 assists. And not, not amazing, but it was okay. But you can clearly see he's probably going to be a number two option if Victor Webinyama is putting up these numbers. So, nevertheless, pretty solid. Another John Morant MP MVP season. Look at that. Bronny James is on the Pelicans. That's kind of funny. Chet Holmgren was a defensive player of the year. That's also interesting considering, you know, he's another guy in that draft, the same draft class as Bancaro. Uh, yeah, very cool stuff. Did we get another All-NBA appearance for Paul Bancaro this season? No, we did not. Uh, Scoot did. Chet, Victor... Um, Giannis is on the Knicks. Interesting. Um, okay. Uh, defensive teams? Nothing. That's interesting. Okay. And, uh, we were the number one seed, though. 55 and 27, I believe, is what we went. So, Bancaro, I'm sure, played a bit of a part in that. Uh, but he did put up only 19.9 points. Uh, 28 and 4. 50% the field, 35 from 3 to 81 from the line. So he's definitely improving, 89 overall. But you can see Victor is definitely the clear-cut number one guy. Uh, yeah, so right now, two-time 13 team NBA Rookie of the Year and uh, Rookie First Team. 
is not an all star yet, uh, which is interesting. Uh, he did not sign. They did not sign him to a rookie extension. So I don't know what that means. Will he stay with the Magic or will he go? I would assume like if he gets a contract restricted free agency, the Magic will match. But I've seen weirder things. So uh, regardless, we're in the playoffs with Bancaro. We'll simulate the playoffs. I assume they'll be good. <coughs> they get through the first round. We'll simulate round by round. Uh, and oh, they almost lost to the Raptors. Conference finals, beat the Celtics, swept them. And they're in the finals against the Thunder. So it's Chet versus uh, Paula Bancaro matchup. And it looks like the Magic are going to win their first NBA Finals. And Bancaro was not the Finals MVP. It was Victor Weminyama. And I don't know who won the... Oh, I should have seen who won the uh, Easter Conference Finals MVP. I highly doubt it was... Uh, uh, what's his name? Bancaro. But uh, he does get an NBA championship. And uh, you saw his numbers. He was, uh, do they, do they do like finals MVPs? They don't, they don't show that here. Okay, so maybe he could have won. I highly doubt it. Um, I can actually look stats, play, uh, playoff stats. Let's see. If I look at the, not NBA finals, but here. Yeah, I mean, Bay Carroll put up good numbers, but yeah, it was definitely Victor. Uh, Franz Wagner is also really good too. In the NBA finals, 21-7-5. And pretty solid, uh, pretty solid numbers there for uh, Paul Baker. And overall was, uh, you know, pretty good. And actually, this guy Jeb Howard was uh, hmm, interesting. Okay, well, let's see what ends up happening with Baker. I assume he'll stay with the Magic, but I've seen weirder things before. No surprise, he did end up staying with the Magic. Signed a four-year deal, one hundred seventy-three point seven nine million dollars. So, assuming he doesn't get traded, he's going to be here for. Uh, pretty good amount of uh his career so let's see if they can try to get, win another uh nba finals the thunder back in the finals to face the celtics and the thunder this time win it as shea gilge Alexander wins finals mvp nothing too exciting happened this season in terms of uh paulo bancaro in terms of winning like any awards he didn't get any all-star appearances like decent in the playoffs, 51, about 51, 41, 74. Okay, that's not too bad. But, uh, yeah, nothing too exciting. Still not, Hill hasn't had an all-star appearance yet in five seasons. I feel like in real life that might not be a thing, but, uh, I mean, depending on, like, looking at the way he's been playing. But, uh, we'll see. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let's advance on to the next season. MVP, not Paulo Bancaro, but Victor Wembanyama. Anyone defensive player of the year, dang. Okay, well, this is interesting. Uh, obviously, since Victor is not our main focus. Uh, and, yeah, no All-NBA team once again for Bancaro. So, honestly, I think maybe we're getting a little bit screwed over by uh, by Victor being on, on, <laughs> on the Orlando Magic uh, and winning the lottery. Although, we were the number one seed again. Uh, I'm assuming, like, same thing. Like, he didn't make the All-Star team again. I mean, he put up good numbers. Uh, he's not even the second leading scorer on the team now. It's actually this, the Jeb Howard guy uh, who also didn't make an All-Star appearance. Uh, but uh, actually, no, Bancaro did make an All-Star this year. So that's good to see. Uh, you like to see that. That's great. So Paul Bancaro, first time All-Star. Uh, put up 21.5 points, 8.9 rebounds, 5.1 assists. You can see his numbers from last year. He took a bit of a dip, but this year uh, they jumped up again. So that's uh, good to see. And yeah, he's 25 years old, sixth year in the league, and looks pretty good. But unfortunately, might be getting a little bit overshadowed by uh, these guys up here. Even Franz Wagner's. Well, Franz actually, his numbers dipped a bit. I thought he was going to be like the guy, next guy, but yeah, it's, looks like it's going to be Jeff. Honestly, he's a big four right now. Dang. Magic have a really good team. So. Again, we'll see them at the playoffs, see how they can fare, if they can get another championship. And nope, they get eliminated by the Giannis-led Knicks in the second round. And it's the <laughs> it's, it's the Timberwolves and the Knicks in the finals. That's hilarious. And the Timberwolves swept the Knicks. Anthony Edwards, finals MVP. Uh, let's take a look at the playoff stats once again for Bancaro. Just curious to see how he did. And uh, it was pretty solid. 17.6 uh, points, uh, 48 from the field, 31 from three. 83 from the line. Not incredible, but well, we'll take it. Uh, 
Okay, on to the next season. Man, Victor Wembanyama stealing all the shine. Oh, goodness. But, uh, yeah, MVP, Defense Player of the Year caliber player. It's crazy. Uh, once again, another good season, though, for the Magic. And, uh, yep, still no bank care on any of these teams. I think the league is just too good at the forward spot, and it's getting better as some of these uh, auto-generated rookie guys are coming in and uh, kind of lighting it up. Um, I don't know how this guy, I mean, I guess you mean all defensive team. But yeah, nothing there from uh, the man, the myth, the legend. But that's okay. Um, he's probably still doing his thing out there. But uh, yeah, kind of just curious. So he is at a 91 overall, I believe. Or did he go up to a 92? No, he's up to a 92. And uh, yeah, he put up, again, put up 22. Oh, that's, that's per 100. Hold on. You per game. He put up 20, 8, and 5. 51, 42, 83. So again, efficiency-wise, pretty solid. Uh, he did make the All-Star team again this season, so he's a two-time All-Star, two-time All-NBA uh, champion, rookie of the year, first-team All-Rookie. I mean, it's a pretty solid career so far, and I mean, through seven seasons, he's done decent in the playoffs. Um, unfortunately, I can't, it doesn't show playoff career stats, but his career is a 21, 21 point game scored, nine rebounds, almost four and a half assists, and pretty efficient. So it's a good career, definitely a very good career. Uh, let's see if he can get another championship added to his resume right here. Courtesy of Vic. Maybe not, though. And again, it's third straight season of getting eliminated in the second round in seven games. And uh, man, the Thunder are just really good. They're going to be a problem. But yeah, they win the, the finals. Xavier Booker, I guess they got the number one pick. Oh, no, they didn't. I guess Xavier Booker just dipped to the number one pick. Uh, number guy. Number five guy. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But anyways, uh, let's take a look at the play playoff stats again. Uh, Bancaro was actually leading scorer, though. 22 points a game. So he was good. He was better than uh, Victor. Uh, so Victor didn't really have the greatest playoff performance. Bancaro kind of stepped up in his place. All right, we got, uh, I guess, our eighth season underway. All right, just kind of looking at the awards here. Oh, Giannis went to New Orleans. He left the Knicks high and dry. Uh, yeah, nobody this year. Uh, no, Wow, Luka's on the 76ers. Did he get traded there? I have no idea, but that's, that's crazy. That's interesting. And he only played, what? Bro, is he coming off the bench? Yo. I gotta see who's on the Sixers. Okay, that's some weird stuff there. Uh, wow, okay. Uh, Victor Oyama, okay, second team. Yep, no, nothing there from Orlando in terms of uh, our boy Paul Van Carroll. But I, am, I need to see who's on the friggin' 76ers really quickly. I'm just curious. I know this is kind of <coughs> like the side click. Wait. Zion on the Knicks? <laughs> yeah. And so is Bryce James and Lonzo Ball. What an interesting team that is. <laughs> okay. Uh, the NBA is weird. The NBA is weird. But I need to see. I guess Tyrese Maxey is starting over Luka. Wow. Okay. Um, I don't know how to explain that. Very weird. Very weird. The Sim is very weird right now. Did Ben Carroll get another all-star all appearance? That is the real question here. He put up decent numbers. Uh, the efficiency kind of went down a little bit, though, in this year. So my guess is he probably didn't make an all-star appearance. 
Uh, but, yeah, no. Yeah, all right. Uh, I guess unless we win the NBA Finals, I'm out, or if there's, like, a big thing that's coming up, like a big event. Oh, is he a free agent? He is. So he might actually leave the team. So after this, if there's nothing too incredible that comes up that's exciting, I might just simulate, like, a season or two. Um... Uh, and yeah, I mean, we were the second seed this year. We'll see what's ended up happening in the playoffs. Uh, and uh, we're in the conference finals, but we lose them to the, uh, I don't even know what their names are. We lost to Bronny James. <laughs> That's who we lost to. And the Hornets win the finals. And Scoot was the finals MVP, not Bronny. Interesting. Okay. Uh, playoff stats. Did Van Caro at least play well in the playoffs? It looks like he played decent. Yeah, 20.8 points. Uh, once again, pretty solid efficiency yeah, for the most part. He has free throws, which is good to see. All right, let's see if he is still on the Magic, or will he decide to sign with a different team? All right, Paul Bancaro decided, I want to stay with the Orlando Magic. Okay, so him and Victor's got also one year left on his deal. Got a little dynamic duo going on over here with that. I mean, granted, they're still a good team, you know. They still have some good players here. Looks like there's no more Franz Wagner, which is uh, interesting. Uh, Lou Dort's here, though. That's cool, I guess. All right. Um, again, if I don't have anything interesting for this next season or something, I'll probably just simulate a couple years, and we'll uh, see once I have another update. Happened last season. No awards for Bancaro. He's up to a 92. We're pretty much probably where he's going to be the rest of his career, uh, at least his peak. But v Victor Wembanyama is no longer on the team. I don't know where he went. I would assume, well, obviously he left, but where did he go? I guess Luke is on the Timberwolves now. Victor Wembenyama is on, I thought that was the Celtics, the Jazz. I was like, wait, he's on the Celtics? I thought that was all the Celtics. With Devin Booker, Carl Anthony Towns, Darren Peterson. Victor said, get me up out of here. Okay, well, now Bancaro at least has a number. He's the number one option. Maybe his numbers will go up now. Curious to see that. Uh, but, yeah, this team might not be as good now. And five. Uh, the efficiency obviously went down a bit, but now he's back to being, like, a number one option. So he's up to an 83, 93 overall. However, the team is terrible. So <laughs> there is that. Uh, and I guess he signed an extension. So he'll be with the Magic for... His prime. He was an all-star again, and obviously third-team All-NBA, so that's helpful for his individual accolades to get him into the Hall of Fame. But yeah, the Magic were absolutely terrible, did not make the playoffs, so I don't know when the next time they'll be in the playoffs is, but it should be interesting enough. Let's just, I guess, see, since I'm here, give me an update who will win the finals, and it'll be the Wizards with the MVP, Basala Bejioka. All right, I have to give you another update because this is this is something new that just happened. Second team All NBA this time, not first team, not third team, second team, not first team unfortunately, but second team is still pretty dang good. Definitely something he hasn't done yet. And again, put up a double double this season. Although the Magic are still really bad again, the efficiency has gone down because he's having to take more shots. But this is going to definitely help at least his individual numbers. So good stuff there from Paula Bancaro. And, uh, yeah, awesome. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. Nothing else really happened because the Magic did not even make the playoffs. Not a surprise. They were terrible. A little update. Uh, nothing too exciting has been happening. But Bancaro is starting to regress slightly. He was picked at a 93. He's now a 92. He did make a couple all-star appearances, but the team is bad. Even after signing Darius Garland, the team just was not good enough. But yeah, he had a couple weird seasons where like, oh, you thought maybe he would be good. But yeah, he also signed a new contract. Uh, I think that was last season or the season before. So yeah, he's basically signed here through his age 35. So he's making $67.4 million in 2038. It's a lot of money. So it looks like he's going to be the guy, like that's your guy, the Magic's guy, right? For his entire career. But, I mean, he's had a good career. Definitely has a good career. Still has about like 19 badges or something. So 92 overall. So he still could be a you know a contributor. He's probably at the tail end of his prime. But yeah, I mean 22.1 points for his career, about nine rebounds, five assists. Solid efficiency so far. He scored over 23,000 points. Nearly grabbed 10,000 rebounds, over 5,000 assists. 
Uh, we're gonna look at all these career stats, like why he, by the time he does retire, uh, is he gonna have, see how many three pointers he's made? Man, Curry has changed the game, man. Curry has changed the game. Gotta say. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, 20 triple doubles, 141 double doubles. Let's continue to simulate. I mean, I'm gonna have to kind of keep an eye out too on his retirement. Although I don't, it's probably gonna be like four or five more years where I have to worry about that because he'll probably still be a contributor. But yeah, uh, if I the updates for you, like maybe making the playoffs, which I highly doubt we will, I'll let you know. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in a couple seasons. <sighs> okay, well, the magic shocked me. We didn't make the playoffs, although Bancaro wasn't even the leading scorer. But you guys can see his numbers. Efficiency went up, but that, uh, his counting stats did go down. As you can see, he's exhausted. I guess this guy, Tyron Stokes, is pretty good. I guess the, overall, the team is still pretty good. And you still have Jeb Howard on the squad, too. He's been here. Shout out him. And yeah, this team was ended up being the number one seed. I don't know how, but uh, did he end up getting a, uh, an all-star appearance again? Would that make it seven times? Was he a seven-time all-star? Seven-time all-star. He's made it five straight seasons, so looking good for him, honestly. His career prospects are looking great. Let's see if we get another ring. I don't know if we'll win. Yeah, we got Lily in the first round. I figured we would. And the Heat are back in the finals. Lami Low Ball versus the Mavericks. And the Mavericks win the finals with LZ Harrington. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Today, the Jazz are absolutely disgusting. They have Scoot, Victor, and Xavier Booker on the same team. That's kind of disgusting. Not even to mention they have... Jerace Walker as as well. I mean, I guess he ended up being really good too. But like this three is ridiculous. I don't even know, man. That's crazy. But yeah, Bancaro's stats are starting to regress. Uh, just wanted to let you guys know that. Uh, but still putting up decent numbers. Uh, as you can see, 16 points a game. But yeah, the numbers are starting to dip a bit. He's still starting, but he's going to be 35. Um, at least we made the playoffs, but yeah, nothing too great. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the Jazz because they're kind of ridiculous. Uh, but in the playoffs, though, he's good. He's still putting up good numbers in the playoffs, so that's good to see. And three point efficiency is not quite there, but still nevertheless solid. Well, I did not expect this. Um, Paul Bancaro retired after 17 seasons. I was going to say, oh, he's going to sign a new contract, but he decided to retire. Okay, I mean, hey, listen, uh, we had the second seed, I believe, the Magic, and then they lost in the first round, and I guess Paul Bagaro said, screw this, I'm out. As he says, I'm retiring at the end of the season, and I'm proud to say I'm walking away with my head held high. So he's done, alright, I mean, hey, great career, 17 seasons, and I mean, he averaged 20.9 points, 8.5 rebounds, 5.2 assists. Uh, 48.6 in the field, 37.3 from three, 83.4 from the line. That's pretty efficient. 29,042 points, 11,721 rebounds, 7,150 assists, 974 steals, 930 blocks. Um, curious to see where this would put him on the all-time list. 4,581 threes made. Uh, I mean, that's clearly number one all-time in the NBA. If I were to go to like basketball reference and like look at some of these leader stats. Uh, which we will. Just curious to see where this would put him all-time currently now. But obviously, of course, there are going to be other players that come into the game. And, uh, well, guess what? They're going to be clearly, 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 clearly better than him. But I'll take a look at that now. And then we'll also just, like, take a look at this career stats, like, within the game. Like, where he ranks on the leaderboards. So I'm just, just I'm going to look it up right now and tell you guys. Paulo Bencaro into, like, history. He would be here. Top 10. It, assuming, like, you know, he existed and this was just it. Uh, in terms of rebounding, let's take a look at that. Um, Cause I'm kind of curious to see what we have going on there. Um, where are we? Uh, rebounding. Do I have that? Total rebounds, career, thank you. Uh, 11,781. We put him right here. Uh, what else we got? Assists for a career. He had 7,150. That would put him right here, like about 18th, between Terry Porter and Tim Hardaway. Assuming, again, we just placed him down in history. Uh, steals and blocks, we'll look at those as well. Steals, he had 974. I don't think that's going to put him in the tops. 
Uh, maybe like down here with Draymond Green currently. I guess that's like, and J.R. Smith, Dale Ellis, and Stacey Ogman. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting list. Block shots, 938. He had more steals than blocks, which is kind of interesting. So for a career, 938 blocks would put him right here, right below Derek Favors and between Ross Show Nesterovich as uh, Stephen A. Smith's favorite player. Um, so yeah, that, there you go there on that front. Now, let's look at it in the game of 2K, but we'll, before we do that though, we're just gonna advance and see the Hall of Fame inductees. He's gonna be a Hall of Famer. I'd be shocked if he wasn't. Um, ooh, yes, let me double check here. Uh, so yeah, Paul Bancaro did retire. Career, his career accolades, by the way, just so you guys wanna see again. He was an NBA champion, seven-time All-Star, he made the All-NBA second team once, three-time All-NBA third team member, rookie of the year, and a first-team All-Rookie. So, not bad. Definitely not bad for sure. And, you know, because it's the NBA Hall of Fame, like, he's going to make it. Yeah, not a surprise there. Him, John Morant, and Darius Garland uh, ended up making it. Uh, John Morant was a two-time MVP. Uh, definitely, like, in terms of stats here, I don't know, was he, like, the least best player? Yeah, okay, oh, it tells you finals MVPs. That's kind of cool. So you're a champion. Derek Garland was a two-time champion. He was also a teammate of uh, Paul Bancar at one point. And yeah, Rookie of the Year. And uh, that's about it. Um, but no one will NBA first teams, which is kind of interesting. No finals MVP. Uh, no MVPs. So there is that. But nevertheless, still made the Hall of Fame. And of course, we're gonna have jersey retirements here. Paulo Bancaro gets number five retired by the Orlando Magic. Chet Holmgren surprisingly did not make the Hall of Fame. That's interesting. Uh, can I see like stats, like career leaders here now? Will that show me that? Let's see, player stats. Can I look at, wait, stats, player stats. Would he actually show up here? I don't think he will, no, he won't. Uh, league news maybe? league history nba records let's see if he has any records here i highly doubt he will um no i don't think so i don't see any i don't see any paulo bancaros up here um i guess this is what i don't know what that is but i would actually no i didn't want to see record let's say good all nba history i think that's what it would be uh, would it be here? Season awards, past champions, league leaders, points per game, Hall of Famers. Uh, would it be this? No, I don't think so. Wow, this goes down really far, huh? Um, season awards. No, this isn't it. Yeah, no, this isn't it. Point totals? Yeah, no, that's not it. Um, I'm trying to find it. Hold on a second. All right, I can't seem to find it. I'll, I'll try to maybe look at it after, but I do want to see this because I'm kind of curious about this. Yeah, Paul Bancaro, team point record. He had his career was 53. Uh, no field goals, three point made. Uh, he had 11 in one game. That's insane. And also four uh, and, uh, and 10. So there we go there. Free throws didn't make it. Rebounds didn't make it. Assist didn't make it, but this guy Landon Blackbird did. Uh, blocks didn't make it. Shaq had 15 in the game, Dwight had 10. That's pretty insane. Uh, steals didn't make it. Minutes didn't make it. Turnovers didn't make it. Total points yeah, in a game. We can look at playoffs as well. Total points 51. That's pretty cool. 51 point game in the playoffs. Uh, he had 17 field goals made he made 12 threes in a playoff game that's insane uh free throws uh this is rebounds nothing there he had 15 assists in a playoff game that's kind of cool um okay all right yeah i can't seem to find uh this is just total team records career can i see like everybody on here no, I can't. Okay. Um, I'll figure that out. Hold on a second, guys. Here it is. Okay, so 
Uh, LeBron, by far the leader. Nobody else even close to him. Uh, Durant ended up being third. Didn't even pass Kareem. Uh, Luka Doncic did make it. John Morant. Darius Garland fell short. Uh, but Paolo Bancaro ended up with... Uh, let's see. 26th all-time on this list. So, 29,042. Put him 26th. Field goals made. Is he going to be on this list? He is right here, number 42. Uh, three pointers made. Uh, he is one, two, three. He is ninth all time. That's pretty crazy. Cade Cunningham, number one. If anything, Mathroom is number two. That's insane. Okay. Hmm. I definitely want to do a career with him as well. Benedict Mathroom, five. Cade Cunningham, 5,337. That's crazy. Uh, free throws made. I don't think. Van Carroll will be on here. I mean, I could be wrong. Uh, is he on here? Maybe he would be. I don't know if he how much fouls he draws. No, he is. Okay. 76 all-time free throws made. Rebounds. I think he'd be on here at some point. Nine. I think he'd what, like 9,000 something. Uh, did, he, did he make it on here? Oh, no. He had 10,000. 11,000. Yeah, he had 11,000. He'd be up here, actually. 35th all-time in this assists i think he was like it's seven thousand something i believe he might make it here 67th all-time in assist that's pretty impressive block shots he had like 930 something i don't think he's gonna be on here yeah no nah, no way um block shots is absolutely crazy uh to be on that steals he get like 900 something um he might be on this no never mind he is definitely not gonna be on this uh, and then minutes. I don't think these ones really matter that much. Although I did see his name. Paulo Vancaro, 34th in minutes. Turnovers, uh, again. I don't really care too much about turnover leaders. Uh, but I would assume he'd be on there. Points per game. Uh, would he be on here? Probably. PPG, in case we're curious to see. He's probably going to be around this area. I don't see him. Did he not make it? Or is he down further? I definitely passed him. There's no way that he's not on this list. Uh, I definitely passed him. Okay, I'm not going to look at all of them. I kind of just wanted to see the totals. And, uh, you know, you saw that. 40-point games, 50-point games. Triple doubles. Jokic. 252. Doncic. 229. That's actually insane. Like, I could see both of these guys passing Westbrook in triple doubles. Like, it's... That's pretty crazy. Total points, yeah. So, again, good career from Paulo Bancaro. Um, no, like, defensive appearances, but was a Hall of Famer, seven-time All-Star champion. Made a few All-NBA teams. Was obviously a rookie of the year. Good career. Made a lot of money. Let's go to the post game close of the video. All right, well, that's his uh, NBA career according to NBA 2K, so... What do you guys think? Do you think he'll have a better career or worse career depending on, uh, you know, this uh, sim? What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, what other players I should do. Obviously, I'm going to do... I, I, I'm going to do Chet. I'm going to do Victor. I'm going to do Jabari Smith Jr. I'm going to do Benedict Matherin because that that's pretty insane that he ends up being one of the best three-point shooters of all time. Uh, Scoot Henderson. I mean, there will be guys. So if you throw those names out there, who do you want to see me do next? Uh, but yeah, if you're enjoying the content, hit the like button, subscribe. And uh, check out my socials, my second channel down in the description. And that's it. I'm done. Take care, everybody. See you soon. And peace.